Hi guys, so this is my very first haul video. So currently I'm in Tokyo, Tokyo, and I've bought a lot of things because Tokyo, right? Right? So yeah, so I thought I would just show you the things I've been buying at the shops that I love. So much love for these shops, man. Okay, so where should I start? Okay, I'll start with the new latest cooler shop, which this is their gift, um, their shopping bag. It's called Bubbles. And so at Bubbles, I bought a fur headband in green. I'm going to go back and get the pink, I think. I think it was like 2,100 yen, so $21. Pretty good. And then I'm pretty excited about the other thing I bought there, which is this cool faux fur pink backpack with like a leather panel and it's like reversible with like you know like hip hop elastic straps which say bubbles saw the city and I don't know I think it's just totally cool and like good for you know hopping bopping about Melbourne and I really kind of like this whole like hip hop elastic trend is it a trend? So yeah, pretty happy with that. I think this was like 6,000 yen, so $60. And it's like unique, and it's from Bubbles, which is the cool, the coolest shop right now in Harajuku. So I just had to buy it. So there's that. I also got, okay, so like there's so many things down here. <laughs> it's like, what to show you next? Okay, I think you all know I love Nanet, yeah? Nanette is like one of my most favourite brands of all time and unfortunately I'm not so excited with their winter collection but I did get this cute little hair clip for 10 bucks like 925 yen so $9.25 ish ish but yeah super cute and like I could clip it in my hair or I could clip it on the bag super versatile Nanette can't go wrong with that. And so another thing that I bought on my big, big shopping day was something from Mercy Boku, my favourite, favourite brand. Now this is amazing. You know me well. If you know me well, <laughs> then you would know I love pom-poms. And yes, this is a pom-pom necklace or uh, scarf. And I just love it. Like, hello, it's pink. I just couldn't not buy it. It was a bit expensive for like a pom-pom scarf necklace because I could potentially make it myself. But you know what? I have tried and they always fall apart. So I'm lazy. And this was like $130 and it's by my favourite brand. And I'm in Tokyo and I was like, I'm just going to get what I want. And now my headband is falling off. Please excuse. Please excuse. Ah! But yeah. Totally fun little thing from Tokyo, from my favorite brand. Most of the cool rocks. Now let me fix. It. Oh, my hair is all fucked. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, so I also went to one of the new cool shops in Harajuku. This is kind of close to Dog, and it's called Pin Up, and it has like a totally like crazy guy with an afro who works there, um, and like fake gold teeth. It's kind of hilarious, like. Who is this guy? Anyway, I bought this like vintage fluffy cropped jumper, which you'll see in another video of mine from the day that I tried it on. And it looks totally cute on. I don't know if you can tell, but it's yeah, totally cropped. And it's like this fluffy, pink, plasticky, sparkly stuff. And it's really comfortable and warm and cozy. Like, totally not a props for Melbourne when I go back. There's a bit of crappy sticker on it. <laughs> um, but, you know what, for winter, it will be good for winter, but not just yet. It will be good for Korea next week. I'm going to Korea on Thursday, it's going to be like one degree. Ah, who does one degree? Okay, another exciting thing is actually the camera I'm talking to you right now. It's new, it's new, look at it. It's actually, I got the pink one, which is only released in Japan, so like, hello pink. I'll try and like, film it somehow and show you. But it has like a rotating screen so I can actually see myself doing this and it's kind of like for YouTube perfect because and then I could do like selfies and walk and like 
selfies, and it somehow connects to Wi-Fi. I haven't worked that out because instructions are in Japanese, but I'll work it out. And then when I work it out, then I'll be able to like YouTube, not YouTube. I could YouTube, but I can also Instagram and things from a better camera. So thank you, Nikon Coolpix S6600. It's like it was like two hundred dollars, and I think in Australia it'd be way more than that for like uh, it's like. It's like 18 megapixels, 16 megapixels, full HD movie, 12 times zoom, blah 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 blah, and Wi-Fi, and it flips, and it's $200, and it's pink. I sold it pink, basically, though. <laughs> y'all know me. Look, you know me so well, I even like pull up this pink background for y'all, so that like it's a little less boring. Yes, I'm that way inclined. So the next purchase was from La Foy and Harajuku at Grey, which is like great <laughs> you know and this is actually like so if you know me or if you've been following me on my blog for a while you know I used to live in Tokyo seven years ago because I'm an old lady now and I got married here actually in 2007 May 5th um, and at my wedding Mademoiselle Yulia DJ'd at the party and it was totally fun totally cool and now Yulia is like famous and has like you know, music videos out, you all should check out Harajuku Wondo, it's like totally cool. I was her live just the other week, which I've got a video of. I'll put it up and I got to say hi and like we got to reminisce about the old days, but in spirit of friendship and also in shopping, I bought one of her necklaces at Great, which is, her brand is called Giza, and like I really, it was like a bit expensive for what it is, maybe, it was like $140, and... But you know what? It's a pink bloody unicorn, and it's by Mademoiselle Yulia. So, you know, like, there's no way I could pass that up. And it also has like a totally awesome thick gold chain, and I pretty much love it, and I'm obsessed. So I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. Like, I really wanted to like buy some clothes while I was here, but I keep just buying accessories. Because you know what? In Japan, well, in well in most places in the world, but especially in Japan. Clothes just don't come in size fat. Although I am wearing my super cute cardigan, but I got this in Melbourne. But, yeah, size fat. Alright, next thing. Okay, so, oh, what's that? You know that building in Harajuku, which is like where Gap used to be on the corner of Moto Sando and Meiji Jingu Dori? So like, that building with all the reflective stuff. They've got a Humo shop. So Humo is the owning company of all the brands that I like. So Mercy Baku, Nainet, they also own Zucca, Frat Boys, all these brands. And Sumuru Chisato, who I love. If you follow my blog, then you'll know I've got shoes and sunglasses by Sumuru Chisato. Well now, I have some more things by Sumuru Chisato. And these are possibly, well this is possibly one of the best things. So, Sumuru Chisato, that's just the tag. Cat Bengal in pink. Now this was something thirty dollars, thirty dollars, like three thousand yen, possibly three thousand five hundred. So thirty-five dollars, below forty dollars, and I love it. So like, it just is so cute. On the back, it's kind of like a grello yellow green, which you know, not my favorite color, but I'll be showing the pink mostly, and I don't care about the yellow grello. Love it, love it, love it so much, and. Now the next thing, cannot believe they were so cheap, oh my god, sets of rings that are really similar to my wedding ring, these were $3.99, $3.99 for the set, and they fit my fingers, because they're like some kind of weird stretchy plastic shit, so excited, so excited, oh my god, like, oh, how are these just so amazing? I'll be wearing them on my blog, layering them, you know. I hope that it's like focusing on y'all. Because they're so good. Y'all need to buy these, like, ASAP. Because, you know, I think you're gonna want them. Now, next thing. Okay, just like while we're on the subject of Samori Chisato, oh, I've made like it a little bit difficult for myself. Now, do you all know what an emulk is? An emulk is like a 
a weird Japanese magazine catalog that you can buy at like the convenience store, aka the Konbini in Japanese. So the Konbini, I bought a Samoa Jisato ebook. Now this was 1,500 yen, so that is $15, and it comes like with a big box with your product inside. So you always get like a good value product. And so with this Samoa Jisato one, it's a really cute pink purse. Total no-brainer for me to buy. Like it's got like total amazing pockets. The lining is like cute love heart shaped things and it says some more Tosato. I can't see if you see that and it has a cat and it's like sparkly pink gold rose gold pink I love it maybe I'll get my sister one too because she does love rose gold but I think it might this might be too cute for her too much because she's a bit more plain but for me crazy fashion Haley whatever that means it's totally fun and like I love just like having the catalog as well because like I can drool all over the runway photos and be like, I want to own all the things and look at the things that I want. Oh my god, so cute. I just die at the cuteness. Like, thank you, Japan, for bringing me cute things. Like, constantly. It's a never ending, never ending story. Sorry, I'm singing that. It's just like the other night at this Halloween party that was like the last song was did now. And I was actually a DJ from my wedding, Popo, and he played that to techno and it was just like blew our minds. So, anyway, never ending story. Now, look at this pink thing. So, I got this at Paris Kids, which if you've ever been to Harajuku, it's in Tachidori. It's like cheap as chips. Everything is three fifteen, so three bucks fifteen, or depending on the exchange rate, three dollars twenty. Four dollars if you're on a shit time, you know, but cheaper than anything in Australia. So yeah, I got like this faux fur pink tail because like I already I already have heaps, but I just needed some more. And I got like a key ring because it's furry. And oh my god, this is so cute. Oh my god, some kind of badge with eyes and a cloud, and it's furry. I just went kind of fur crazy. Oh, and I got like this badge because like I like daisies and they've got cuter pink ones. Maybe I'll just, I'll get some more. They're $3. I'll get some more. Ah, uh, and this, these earrings which I plan to make into clip-on earrings because I don't have my ears pierced but it's super easy to change them to clip-on. So I'll do that. And then, oh here's some like Halloween candy. Anyway, like that's from the Halloween party. And then they actually had clip on pom pom earrings. Clip on pom pom earrings. Did, did you hear me? Clip on pom pom earrings. That's like the best thing that could ever happen to me. And I got them in like various shades of pink. Because when do I not want to wear pink? It's just like pink, pink or pink. I just like have options now. So many options. And like dangly bits, like $3. $3. You cannot just say no to that. No way, Jose. Okay, and then there's another shop called Thank You Mart where everything is 3.90 yen. So $3.90. Depending on the exchange rate, $4. $4.50. Still pretty cheap. So anyway. Thank you, Mart. I got myself a tote bag with a nice green smiley face because it was cute. Although I don't really wear tote bags. I think I just got blown away by the cuteness. And, oh yeah, I actually got this at another shop called Spy, or S-B-Y, I don't know, I've never seen it before, but it's like a finger puppet, and I don't know why I bought it, actually, like, confusing, like, hello, like, and I think it was like $4, it was kind of expensive, but what the fuck am I doing with this? It's because it's furry. Alright, and at Thank You Mart, back to Thank You Mart, I got some koala socks, because Australia and some tie-dye socks because of tie-dye. $3.90. You can't deny the savings. All right, something else I want to show you all. So like there's this new building in Harajuku's Takashitadori called Cute Cube and it has a shop called Harajuku Kawaii by Asobi Station who run that like YouTube channel Kawaii TV or whatever it's called and I think they somehow they manage Carrie Pammy Pammy and a whole bunch of different people. 
Anyway, they're the best place right now in Harajuku to pick up Fruits Magazine. Now, Fruits Magazine has changed size, so that kind of sucks in terms of, like, my bookshelf. Because, like, all my other ones are all the same size, and now suddenly all this size. But I kind of appreciate that they're doing these, like, profiles on the cool hipster kids of the time. So, like, all the new kids are getting profiled. So here we've got Mikako and Guppy. And, uh, Maruko and Koi. Now, Koi is the girl who runs Bubbles, the cool shop. And so then on this one, uh, someone in Japanese, and then Julia. Now, Julia is that girl. But apparently she's out of favour right now. Someone tell me these things, I don't know. And so then this is a profile of the girl who runs Pin App, which is where I bought my pink fluffy jumper. And I have some footage and videos of Pin App to show you later. So good! Anyway, I got myself some fruits, and of course, I got tune. I can't not get tune, especially when one of your favourite people is in it. Now, I should probably have like bookmarked the page, but no. Look who it is! It's Brandon! Lactose and Tolerant! Represent! And now he's wearing his jacket, it's from Heyo Tichitori at the Kitakori building, and. His tote bag is possible. I think it's most likely by him. I don't know. And he's wearing Style Styling and all these different cool brands because Brandon is a cool dude. And he's wearing Tabby Boots shoes because he's so cool. I love Brandon. So Brandon's in the latest issue of Tune. So you always got to pick it up when your friends are in it. Now, in terms of makeup, the only things that I have bought are two eyeliners from Dolly Wink. So. A Dolly Wink uh, liquid eyeliner, which I'm actually kind of loving. It's like a little bit dry, and I've had this like wet eye situation recently. So like I love that it just goes on and is instantly dry, and I don't have to worry about eye makeup going all over my face. I can't wear eyeshadow at the moment. Like my life is over. But I'm seeing a specialist when I get back to Australia. So yeah. And then I also got just the pencil, which I haven't actually used yet, and I think they're in like super black, some type of, the blackest black that you can get. So I got those. Now, there's other stuff that I could show you, but maybe this video is a bit long right now. I think I'm going to leave it there. I hope you all loved what I bought in Tokyo. I can see where I'm going with things, like pink, fairy, fluffy stuff. Kind of feeling it. Really feeling the fluffy. Because it's just, you just, you can't go wrong. That's my opinion anyway. I don't know how all this shit is going to fit in my bag. I had an overstuffed bag when I came here. We'll see when we get there. Anyway, that's it for now. I hope this video is like in focus and like not too dark because I don't have any professional lighting and all the things that people expect with videos. Blah 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 blah. I don't know what I'm doing. YouTube. Bye.